What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. You guys are probably here because you guys want to know what it takes to start and run a successful YouTube channel. I'm going to be going over everything I know in the VTech though. <laughs> How old are they? Who, Gandhi? Gan yeah. Four years. Four years old? That's Gandhi right there? Yeah. Oh, nice. What was I saying? Ooh. The most important thing you have to consider before you start your YouTube channel is the target audience. You need to be making videos directed to a specific audience. In my case, I'm targeted all the animal lovers, more specifically the Siberian Husky. There are literally millions of YouTube accounts. So you have to think, what will make me stand out from all those millions? You have to be unique. Think of ways that your channel will be standing out. This is the technology era. Take advantage of that. Some people think it's too late to start a YouTube channel. On the contrary, this is the perfect time you would want to start a YouTube channel. There's a lot of topics that YouTube still hasn't covered. Swimming videos would be really awesome. If they invent something where you can record audio while swimming and you're one of the first YouTubers to do that, you will blow up since there is no competition. Before you start your YouTube channel, you have to do research. Look up similar videos that you will be making. Find out why they went viral. Find out key words they use. Since YouTube is the second largest search engine, research SEO. All SEO is, is what people are searching for. If you find out what people are searching for and you make videos about that, since people are searching for it, people will watch your videos. Use the SEO to your advantage. Put all the SEO search titles on your YouTube video. Oh, look, a cat. <laughs> After you find a couple videos that you will be producing based on the SEO search engine, the next step will be to add a good video description. Video descriptions and your title should have strong keywords. The first three sentences of your description will determine how your video will pop up. Make sure your video descriptions and your title both have very strong keywords. After you've researched some good titles and good video descriptions, your next step on starting a successful YouTube channel will be all the video tags. Oh, we will. Whoa. Come to daddy. These three things will determine how recommended your video will be when people search up these words. So you wanna add all the SEO terms on your video tags. Try adding multiple words on your video tag. They don't have to be single words. You could put Siberian Husky Howling. I believe you could put up to four words if they're not super long. If they are long, the video will tell you and it'll tell you that you're your tags are too long. All that just takes experimenting. That's the three most important things you have to worry about when you're making a video. <laughs> After you have those three things mastered, the next thing you will have to worry about will be your video thumbnails. Thumbnails are the first thing a viewer sees. So you have to make sure you have good thumbnails. Get a picture editing software on your computer. I personally use GIMP, G-I-M-P. It's a free download on Mac. It's an alternative to Photoshop since Photoshop does cost money. Get familiar with it. Research YouTube videos on how to use all the features and your video thumbnails should be looking pretty decent. You want your title to be very attractive. I'm not gonna use the term clickbait. What I believe clickbait is is when you put something that isn't in the video. Clickbait is the most known way to get views translated to money, since views is the way YouTubers get paid. The next thing you wanna to do to make your channel appealing will be to organize your channel. Have a good banner, have a good picture icon. All these things will attract more people and will most likely encourage them to subscribe. Organize your playlists. Don't add too many videos in one playlist. That'll encourage the people to watch through all the playlists. If they see a playlist with about 30 videos, they probably won't watch through the whole thing. You want a small amount of videos in your playlist. I personally still have to work on this. My video playlists look horrible. Consistency on YouTube is really important. You want to be posting videos daily if possible. 
The more videos you can pump out, the better. Just because a channel has 150 videos and it took that channel two years to make all those videos, doesn't mean you can't have the same number of subscribers as they can if you make the same amount of videos in a shorter time period. YouTube likes longer videos. Try and make your videos 10 minutes plus. The reason why YouTube likes longer videos is that you can add more ads to your videos if they're longer than 10 minutes, which just means that YouTube will be earning more money. Of course, in the beginning, you won't be producing 10 minute videos. 10 minute videos are, they're not hard to produce. In the beginning, it can be extremely difficult. If you look back on my channel, my first videos were probably two to four minutes long. You have to start somewhere, so start. The hardest part of YouTube is starting off. Once you get the rhythm of things, everything will come. Starting is always the most difficult part. Make sure your videos are good quality. There's a common question through YouTube, quality versus quantity. If you can have both, it's always best. So make sure your videos are good quality, make sure they're entertaining, and make sure you produce a lot of them. That doesn't mean you should go out buy a super expensive DSLR. Start off with what you already have. Don't spend money on your YouTube channel until the channel starts producing money. Once your channel starts earning you money, then you can start putting the money back into your channel. If a channel was to post awesome videos with amazing quality, but the content was horrible, the videos are boring, and a different channel was to post horrible quality videos with amazing content, the channel's funny, the horrible quality channel will be getting more subscribers and views. Audience engagement is extremely important on a YouTube channel. You have to be communicating with your audience. If your audience feels connected to you, you have better odds of gaining a bigger following. The main goal of YouTube is to gain your audience's trust. Always remind your audience to like and subscribe. If you don't tell your audience to do something, they won't do it. So make sure you always tell the people to subscribe. Have an intro. You guys probably noticed my intro. As far as how to make an intro, that should just come naturally. I'm not sure how to make an intro. I just said some bullshit words and I stuck to it. Make an intro that's catchy and reminds the people what you want. Won't appear as if you're constantly repeating something. Just like those advertisements that keep telling you, buy this product, buy this product. That's exactly what an intro does, but in a way slicker form. So an intro is a must. Always try and target one specific niche. A niche can either be gaming, animals, makeup. Those are all considered niches. Once you have somewhat big of a following in your niche, then you can branch out to different niches, which will give you the opportunity to grow your channel even more outside of your niche. The best way to grow your channel, which I wouldn't always recommend doing, is just doing mainstream videos, doing what's popular at the moment. A really good example of this would be that stupid drama that's happening between Rob Kardashian in Black China. If you were looking to gain views and subscribers at a crazy rate, you would want to be making videos about this. For some reason, people like to listen to this dumb drama stuff. If you do take that idea and give it some of your own spice, that can be very beneficial to your channel. I'm gonna be going over some reasons why you don't want to start a YouTube channel. If you're planning to start a YouTube channel solely for the money, then don't do it. In order to make money on YouTube, you need at least 10,000 views to start monetizing your videos. Once you have 10,000 views, then you can start adding ads to your videos. From personal experience, I can say that every 1,000 views will gain you about $2. That doesn't mean you receive those $2. YouTube takes half the cut. So from every 1,000 views, you will be receiving $1. When you start a YouTube channel, views are really difficult to gain. So don't start a YouTube channel if you're looking to get rich. There's probably way better ways I could think of right now, male strippers, that you can gain way more money way quicker. Don't start a YouTube channel if you're looking for fame. Just like the money, gaining an audience that will be loyal to you will take a lot of time. I've been doing this for about six months now. All these viewers didn't come in the first month. 
YouTube takes hard work and dedication. The only two reasons why you should ever start a YouTube channel is one, because you wanna help people out. The reason number two is that you want to start a hobby. YouTube is a really good hobby. That being said, you could either go two ways with the hobby. You could either pursue your hobby or it can just be a part-time thing. In conclusion, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, now is the time. Don't be lazy about it. This is the technology era and things are only gonna get crazier. Target your niche and go straight for it. I hope this video helped you guys on starting a good channel or if you already do have a channel, improving your content. That's pretty much it on what it took me to start growing my channel and all the research I did. If this video was helpful in any way, shape or form, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Peace.